people living near Oneida Lake are outraged after a family of wild mute swans was killed early this week by wildlife services. Neighbors say the swans have been a part of their community for more than 20 years. And tonight we're learning more about why and how those swans were euthanized. It happened here on Oneida Lake in Cicero, and while the USDA Wildlife Services is defending their actions, neighbors continue to feel angry about what happened. Stephanie Stanovich is live tonight from the town of Cicero. Stephanie? Matt and Megan, we took the concerns of the neighbors directly to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The agency says when possible, it does take animals to a different location before it humanely euthanizes them. But because the swans were able to fly, catching them just wasn't possible. The USDA on Monday euthanized two adult swans and four cygnets here on Oneida Lake. The agency took action after a woman was attacked by one of the adult swans while she was in a kayak. The USDA won't say how it went about killing the swans, but meantime, some people who live along the lakeshore say they're heartbroken over this. They consider the male swan something of a family pet. And although they understand the need to protect the public from random animal attacks, the killing of the swans is troubling to them. Really brokenhearted. Um, what we understand happened is they came in a boat um, and they shot the male and the female in the water. And witnesses on Beach Road that saw it happen said that they held the babies underwater with a fishing net. <laughs> I'm sorry, and drowned them. I'm just upset and disturbed. Um, I feel that it could have been handled better. You know, we we've been discussing it for the last few days, and we're getting more information. And it just seems like killing all of them was not the best move. The USDA will not confirm the method used, but say the euthanization was done in a humane way. Now, some, some neighbors were questioning why it was done right here on Oneida Lake, and the USDA says it would have been more stressful for the swans to take them to a different location to do it. Reporting live in Cicero, I'm Stephanie Sanovich. Stephanie, important to note, the USDA said they did not drown any of the birds, uh, even though the person in the story said that's what she heard. So we wanted to make sure that's clear.